This will be a short video showing how to replace the SSD NVMe in a uh, Lenovo Yoga X1 uh, Gen 6. The process is very similar. I've done it on the, the X1 Yoga's Gen 1 through 5, um, but I'll show you on this Gen 1, Gen 6 just to show you how the process goes. So I'm going to start here. Um, I just received this machine and I'm going to shut it down and, uh, and get started. Um, so we'll shut it down here and shut down. So while this is shutting down, I'll say you can use um, one of these enclosures if you want to with, enough, with your new drive in it to copy the contents of your current drive to it. Um, in this case, since this is a brand new machine, I don't have any data on it, I don't care what's on it. I'm not going to transfer the data, but if you wanted to, you could get that. This is made by a company called Pluggable. There's lots of companies out there that make these where you can stick an NVMe drive in an enclosure and do that. So I've got the machine shut down now, so we're going to close it up and we'll flip it over. So Lenovo has made these, uh, these X1 devices very easy to work on. There's only five screws you need to remove, so I'm going to take these five screws out. And also Lenovo has made these screws what's called capture screws, which means they won't fall out. So don't try to pull them all the way out because you'll actually kind of break your case. Um, but you just need to loosen them. And most likely I haven't loosened one of these enough, so we'll see if it, if it pops right, right off. Um, now the, case, the bottom is all loose. And people will tell you you need to use a spudger or something like that to get these off. I'm, I'm lazy, so I just use a, a screwdriver and then use my fingernails to try to pull it up. And there we go, pops loose. So there we have the uh, enclosure off. And here we are, we're looking at the inside of the Lenovo X1 Yoga Gen 6. Um, and on, uh, you'll see here, it actually has a spot for um, an add-in card, which is the, uh, the LTE card. Um, I didn't get that particular thing. Um, there's the slot here for the SIM. Um, what we're looking for today is the uh, NVMe SSE. They actually have it under a, uh, a heat sink, which is kind of good. Uh, so we'll take that off. Um, some of the other Lenovo Yogas that I've worked on, it's up here rather than down here. But it's usually in the same place. Sometimes it's in a little plastic sleeve rather than has a shield on it. But we'll take, there's two screws here. These are not captive, captive screws, so you need to take them completely off. They're little itty bitty tiny screws. So we'll get these out of here and take our heat spreader off and it has a little heat thermal pad on it. That's okay. We'll just stick it back on. So here's the drive it came with. It was the uh, Hynix uh, PCI3 drive, which I wasn't too excited about. So I'm going to be replacing it with a Samsung 980 Pro, which is a PCIe 4 drive. So we'll open that up. Put it back in. And you gotta snug, push it in there just snug, and you'll know you got it in all the way when the screw hole lines up at the back. It'll sit down just nicely. And then we're just gonna put the shield back on. And we'll put the screws back in. Put the bottom cover back on. It wasn't quite sitting down there right there. It goes popped in. It has some little clips that pop in, but really it's held down by the screws. So then we'll just screw those five screws back in. A uh, USB thumb drive that I prepared using the media creation tool um, that has the latest version of Windows 10 on it. So we'll pop that in. You can put it in either one of the two USB A slots. Power it back up. 
Now I'm going to hit F12 just to make sure since there's no nothing on the hard drive it would, or the SSD, um, it should probably go straight to the USB drive anyway, but we'll just make sure. Um, you can see here it says S980 Pro SSD, so it's recognized, everything's working good. So we're going to boot off the uh, flash drive. And it'll take a second here. And the, uh, the touchpad is not built into Windows for this particular model yet. So I'm just going to use a keyboard to install now. I'll just do custom just so we can see. And there you see is the one terabyte SSD 980 drive. And from this point on, it's just a normal Windows installation. So there you go. In just a few minutes, you've replaced your, your SSD drive in your Lenovo Yoga. Have a good day.